Hello everybody and welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we defeated Adola and we freed the first of the four giants and uh, then we uh, cleared off the uh, Woodfall Temple and, uh, and all the the uh, water in the southern swamp is uh, clean. And we also rescued the Deku Princess and, and all that. We uh, got to see her rebellious side and just uh, like fucking attacking her father. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, it kind of deserves what we get so, but... Anyways, in this episode, uh, we were told that there was supposed to be a prize for us over at the, uh, over the Deku Shrine, so we're gonna head over there, uh, stop across there, and then, uh, the Deku Butler is, uh, well, he's over there, and, uh, he has something for us. Uh, he's actually gonna give us one of those, uh, other masks, which isn't all that useful in the game, though, but we're gonna need to get that one just for the sake of doing 100% completion. And, well, you know, for one thing, uh, for some more later on, that we're definitely gonna need all the masks here to, uh, to get them all here, so, anyway... Link, I am truly thankful for what you have done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we Deku have prepared something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. Oh, oh I see that right. Please follow me. If, oh, oh, uh, what, what, what are you, Mary Poppins? I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! Okay, well, that's, uh, I guess that's, that's how you do it here, so anyway, um... So yeah, this uh, right here, you basically have to do is just uh, follow along uh, with the uh, the Deku Butler, who is actually a lot faster, like uh, very much like the uh, the Dampe race in Ocarina of Time. Uh, it's uh, kind of similar though, although it's uh, there's more obstacles and it's also longer than um, than that race in the in the last game. And also, he's faster than Dampe, so you actually have to keep up. It's always uh, recommended to have the Bunny Hood with you uh, to actually uh, you know so that way they can be able to keep up. Uh, but you want to watch your jumps, though, because, uh, one downgrade, or one downside about the bunny hood, uh, as much as I love using that master of death, though, um, Link's jumps is a little farther now when you, especially when you hop across the platform, so you really want to be careful, especially since, uh, this game does have the, uh, the auto-jumping kind of thing, where, you know, um, can't, like, can't really just, uh, do stuff like press agent, no, it just, it just has all the uh, auto-jumping, just like in, or just like very much all the other 3D Zelda games, except for Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, where, you know, now Link has the, um, has his own jump button, but, um, yeah, you really want to be careful if you use the bunny hood as you get across, though, because, uh, because of how Link can jump, can jump farther, especially when you see those bottomless pits, and, you know, Link could potentially fall off here, because once you fall off those pits, uh, you'll have to start the whole race all over. And you could also, you could also be Deku Link if you want to, but there's also some flames that you'll see here, like, especially those, uh, Walls of Fire, which is, uh, very much like the ones that we saw in the Fire Temple. Yeah, like, like very, very similar to those, uh, columns here, but, or, you know what, as a matter of fact, it's also, it's actually recommended to not use, uh, Deku Link for this one because, uh, well, because of the Fireballs and also the Walls of Fire, because, remember, Deku Link is flammable. And if you touch fire, then you have to start this whole thing all over because, uh, it's basically kind of like an equivalent of losing a life. You know, some games, even though this game doesn't really have a life system, well, I mean, you know, you can still get a game over if you lose uh, all your all your health here, but, you know, there's not really, I, there, there's no, there's not really, like, an extra life system or anything. Uh, well, I mean, I, I think the only Zelda game that actually has that would be, uh, would be Zelda 2. Uh, that game uh, actually did have a life system uh, for that there, and, you know, could, well, especially considering that, you know, that, that game, that game itself is already frustrating to begin with, and you'll just be losing all the lives, and you'll just be hearing... You know, seeing the game over screen, seeing the game on there, going like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Which is also, you know, maybe part of the reason why I didn't, uh, well, I skipped over Zelda 2. I didn't want to do the Let's Play of it because, well, it's just that fucking hard. But anyway, so here's the end of the end of the, uh, the race here. Well done, Link. Now here's the item I promised. Please accept it. And with that, we have the Mask of Sense. This mask heightens a uh, sense of smell. Wear it with C to sharpen your uh, olfactory perception. That's the smell of power. Actually, when I see you, I'm reminded of my son who left home long ago. Somehow I feel as if I am once again racing with my son. I'm afraid I may have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I am still a fast competitor, just like when I raced with my son. Please forgive my rudeness. And who would his son be, we may ask? Well, that is actually something we'll be seeing, and, well, I hope you guys uh, have a bunch of uh, tissues, or tissue boxes with you, because uh, it's going to be... Uh... I don't know if I want to think about it though, but we'll, but we'll see eventually. Uh, by the way, folks, uh, yeah, I saw those mad scrubs that go along the way. Uh, those mad scrubs will not attack you, thankfully. Those are the only kind of uh, scrubs that won't. Like they just uh, pop out and they just look at you and all that, and they they do absolutely nothing. So at least there's that kind of plus, so so I'm actually glad about that. So anyway, now they have the well. Actually, I do want to show off the Maxis Sense here. So uh, like I said, the Maxis Sense it's actually well, it's not really important for um for the whole game though. I mean, you can actually just uh, use that to. Uh, to sniff some, uh, certain items here, like, uh, you know, there might be some sense, but, 
I don't really remember much of it, though, because I, I hardly ever use it. But yeah, this is what it looks like in the use Maxi Sense. Uh, Link's, um, all Link's voice clips actually change to just, you know, some, some, uh, hog grunting or boar grunting. Like, you know, he rolls like he sits around and then, um, you know, yeah, see, all, all, the, all his uh, voice clips are replaced by the regular boar grunting those. But yeah, that's kind of what it is. And actually, yeah, it kind of looks nightmare. So it's like, uh, I don't know, it looks like, it's like a miniature version of Ganon or something. I mean, you know, since uh, Ganon is uh, supposed to be a boar demon here, so. Maybe he's trying to pretend to be Ganon or something. Which, actually, funnily, funnily enough, though, uh, you know, uh, they uh, they have some similar to that in uh, Breath of the Wild, where, um, where you know, you're given these uh, monster masks, like those uh, Bokoloi masks or the Moblin masks, which you can actually use to just uh, trick the um, to trick those enemies and think you're one of them. And it's, it's actually pretty useful in that regard if you ever don't want to fight them. But, um, but yeah, it actually kind of reminds me of that, uh, that kind of aspect here, but... Anyhow, so that should be it for the Deku Palace. So pretty much all done here. There's actually one more thing we can do. Well, uh, there's a couple more things I try to do. Uh, so like uh, the one thing we need to do is uh, do a bit of a shooting mini game that we can do uh, only after you've um, you've uh, cleared off the uh, the Woodfall Temple. Um, and the other one was that uh, I wanted I wanted to try to attempt to do the uh, pictograph contest, but that's only a day one kind of thing, and it's already getting close to day two, so I was actually too late for that. So uh, so before we go ahead and end off the cycle here for now. Uh, we want to go back over to the uh, tourist information here and uh, talk to Kuomei once more. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go and uh, see what she has for us here. Oh, but wait! Yes, just as I thought. It seems the poison swamp has been cleaned up. So why not try something that's more interesting? How about a little game? I'll fly around on my broom and you try to hit my target. Doesn't it sound fun? Well, want to try? I'm well, sure, of course. That's the way to go. But let me explain. You're not aiming for me with that bow. You're aiming for the target. If you hit me, I'll never forgive you. Okay, yeah, geez, well, well it's alright, so, yeah, that's one thing you want to be careful for, so, basically, it's a, it's a shooting mini game that you have to do, uh, you, what you gotta do is that you have to, uh, shoot the target that Kume will, um, will, uh, will, will, will make appear, and, uh, yeah, just, just make sure you just, uh, shoot the target, and just, uh, try to have good aiming, though, because my aiming isn't that great, uh, but you want to make sure not to, uh, not to shoot at her, though, which, I mean, you know, for one thing is, it can be kind of funny, though, well, especially considering that since we, uh, previously fought, uh, those two, because they were the bitches and not in time, but no, except they're uh, they're actually benevolent this time. Uh, but um, but but you know she actually uh, she actually really uh, like she's not really kidding whenever you're saying that uh, like she won't forgive us if you uh, if you hit her because um because uh, you actually do get penalized if you uh, if you hit Kuume too many times because uh, if, if you hit her enough times then uh, she'll boot you out of the mini game and uh, well I haven't really seen what happens but I think she just uh, you know disqualifies you or just uh, you know or just berates you for uh for uh, shooting her too many times but you know you want to make sure to, yeah see like that there but. Um, but you want to make sure just to hit the target there, and sometimes a hitbox can be a little wonky though, because, uh, well, because she constantly moves around on her broomstick. So you want to make sure you aim just right here. Also, there's not music there. Well, normally, like, after you clear the, uh, clear the dungeon, then, um, uh, the overall theme usually plays though, but, uh, but since it's only, uh, still nighttime, then it's not gonna be playing, but, you know, it's no longer that, uh, da, 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 you know, like that there. Yeah, it just plays the overall theme. Uh, now, for the minigame itself, uh, there is actually a certain score you want to reach. Uh, you want to make sure to, uh, to hit the target at least 20 times, and then that's how you get the, uh, get the heart piece. So, uh, so yeah, once you get to uh, 20, or, or 20 hits here, then you know, that'll be your prize. If not, then you won't get anything at all. 25! Pretty good, considering! Well, as I promised, here, take this! Alright, and with that, now we got our heart piece, and we got a new heart container in the process. Now, wasn't that fun? If you'd like to play again, come back and see me! Tee hee hee hee! Also, I want to say, though, that, uh, so, we're already at the second day, but thankfully, though, um, it didn't really do this effect, like, uh, usually once we get to, um, well, once the, um, once it starts to transition to a new day, uh, the screen will actually shrink down as the, uh, you know, I, as you hear the, uh, the bells chiming, uh, when, when you get closer. Honestly, though, I don't really like when it does that, though. I mean, for, for one thing, it makes sense, though, because, uh, cause they want because they actually want to make this a little more foreboding. As you uh, get to the, each of the new days, because you know you only have three days to do this, and so as days get closer, then so uh, the moon will actually uh, get closer, larger, and getting close to um, crashing the clock town. So, so it does uh, make it a little more menacing and foreboding because the days inch closer, and that's why the uh, the screen actually shrinks down. So, it may be cool as an individual stance, but but while you're actually playing the game, though, it's distracting and it can be uh, like a little uh, know, a little harder to see because of how small the uh, the green I mean, the, the the screen. Oh, excuse me, I just had a right there. The, the screen just had a, um, will just, uh, start, uh, just start shrinking down. And so it kind of gets distracting because of it, and so it just kind of, like, all, all of a sudden. 
Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and start a new cycle for this one, though, because, um... Because, like, uh, there's actually one more harpy that we need to get, but we can't really do that on day two, though, because uh, what it is is that uh, we want to get the harpy uh, from taking a picture and uh, showing it to um, and showing it to the uh, the receptionist, uh, the tour guide, and um, and so you you can only do this on day one, though, because like uh, there's actually two ways you can do this here for taking a picture. Um, so two characters you can take a picture of. Uh, you want you can either take a picture of the Deku King. Uh, you know, while he's, uh, while in the throne room, of course, he had to just, uh, well, I think he still has to be a Deku Link anyway, just to uh, take the pic, uh, the, or take the picture after the picture, because I think it's still possible. And, yeah, so, since we reset time, then, yeah, the water's now back to being polluted with the, uh, with all the toxins. But, um, yeah, I can either take a picture of the Deku King. Uh, the other picture you can take, though, is I can, um, you can take one of, uh, Tingle. And, uh, no matter what, which one it is, uh, he'll still give you the heart piece. And so, I'm gonna go for Tingle, though, because I honestly don't feel like having to go all the way back over to the, uh, to the Deku Palace. Because, well, you know, it's, it, there's actually, well, I mean, you can still be able to go over there anyway, just by hopping across the water. But I didn't feel like doing that, because I feel like just having to, uh, take a picture of Tingle is easier. And it also makes more sense, though, because one thing, uh, Tingle is actually the, uh, the receptionist's son. Uh, for what you saw the uh, the dialogue there, so I feel like it makes more sense though, just uh, kind of see what he's doing and, uh, and all that there. So that's what I want to do. So uh, whether you take a picture of Tingle or the Deku King, uh, he'll still give you a harpy. So um, I want to make sure to get a good picture. Um, I didn't really like this picture. I'm pretty sure it's still acceptable though, but I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to that with uh, photography. So I want to make sure I want to get a get a good shot here. So anyways, there's a good uh, good picture of Tingle here. So yeah, no matter which one it is, he'll uh, still give the harpy. So I figured I just uh, went ahead and took a picture of Tingle because I feel like it's easier because of it. And so, like I said, uh, you want to make sure it's day one for this one because uh, on subsequent days, um, or, the, or the last two days, the the uh, photo contest will be closed. And so he won't give you the harpy uh, for um, for which uh, picture you show to him because, uh, you know, since uh, it'll be ended. So you want to make sure it's on day one because that's when the, uh, the uh, pedigraph contest is ongoing. So, so that's the reason why I had to go ahead and uh, reset the whole cycle. Uh, just to get that heart piece, so it's it's kind of inconvenient in a way, though. But you know, I guess it had to be done. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, show him the uh, pictograph. And uh, depending on what kind of a, a picture you took, he'll give you some rubies here. So, whoa, that's my son. Ish, is he still doing that sort of thing? Mm. Ugh, how humiliating! This guy, he's my son. As old as he is, he's still doing some pretty silly stuff. I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him, but he really is a kind-hearted boy. Well, thank you for going to all that trouble. This is just a small token of my gratitude. All right, and with that, and, uh, yeah, I actually gave him a bad Australian accent. But you, but could you tell my son something for me? Could you, uh, please ask him not to go outside in that outfit anymore? Yeah, I mean, probably good, though, because, like, you know, he's uh, wearing a ridic ridiculous outfit, and, uh, you know, just, you know, just uh, what he's doing. But like I said, I mean, he's not bad in this game, though, despite it being his introduction. It's just, you know, Wind Waker Tingle being a piece of shit, though, so... Anyway, so yeah, that, that's how you get the uh, the heart piece uh, from him. So yeah, like I said, make sure it's day one because that's how the picture drive concept is ongoing. Because in the other days, he won't give you the heart piece or any other rupees because it's already over. And it can either be a uh, Tingle or the Deku King, but that's why I won't Tingle, so... Anyway, so I think I'll go ahead and end off this video here. So next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask, uh, there are some more uh, stuff we can do for SideQuest stuff. So we'll uh, be doing the next one. So I'll see you guys next time.